I'm Mark Deacon Rod Bauer and I welcome you to evening prayer for Saturday. The psalm will be Psalm 37, beginning at the 18th verse, and I'll be reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, beginning at the 23rd verse. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He shall make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <coughs> Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 37, beginning at the 18th verse. <clears throat> The Lord cares for the lives of the innocent and their heritage shall be theirs forever. They shall not be put to shame in the evil days, but in time of famine they shall eat their fill. For as the ungodly, they shall perish. They are the enemies of the Lord. Like fuel in a furnace, they shall vanish away in smoke. The ungodly person borrows but does not repay. But the righteous is gracious and gives. Those who are blessed by God shall possess the land. But those whom he has cursed shall be cut down. If your steps are guided by the Lord and he delights in your way, though you stumble, you shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds you by the hand. I have been young and now I'm old, but I never saw the righteous forsaken or their children begging their bread. They are ever gracious and lend, and their children shall be blessed. Turn from evil and do good, and you shall dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his faithful ones. But the unjust shall be destroyed forever, and the children of the ungodly shall be cut down. The just shall possess the land and they shall dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and their tongue speaks what is right. The law of their God is in their heart and their footsteps shall not slip. The ungodly watch out for the righteous and seek occasion to slay them. The Lord will not abandon them to their power, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Wait for the Lord and hold to his way, and he will raise you up to possess the land, to see the ungodly when they are destroyed. I have seen the ungodly in terrifying power, spreading themselves like a luxuriant tree, passed by again 
and they were gone. I searched for them, but they could not be found. Observe the blameless and consider the upright. For the peaceful, for the peaceable shall have their posterity. But transgressors shall be destroyed altogether, and their posterity of the wicked shall be cut down. Deliverance for the righteous shall come from the Lord. He is their strength in time of trouble. The Lord will help them and deliver them. He will save them from the ungodly and deliver them because they come to him for refuge. <clears throat> Lord Christ, eternal word and light of the Father's glory, Send your light and your truth, that we may both know and proclaim your word of life to the glory of God the Father, for you now live and reign, God, for all eternity. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, beginning at the... 23rd verse. After spending time in Antioch, he departed and went from place to place through the regions of Galatia and Phrygia and strengthening all the disciples. Now there came to Ephesus a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria. He was an eloquent man, well versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and he spoke with burning enthusiasm and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained the way of God to him more accurately. And when he wished to cross over to Achaia, the believers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to welcome him. On his arrival, he greatly helped those who, through grace, had become believers, for he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Messiah is Jesus. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. <clears throat> Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us so let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth Christ once raised from the dead dies no more death has no more dominion over him in dying he died to sin once for all in living he lives to God See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth, and share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Holy One, we bring before you Peter, our Bishop, 
along with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops. Continue to grant them, we pray, your wisdom and guidance and strength. We pray too for Kanishka Raphael, the Archbishop-elect of Sydney. Grant him the fullness of your grace, we pray, to exercise his ministry both as diocesan bishop and metropolitan of New South Wales. We prayerfully join our hearts to the first Australians who live within the bounds of the diocese. Grant us, we pray, a deep sense of reconciliation. We pray too with the bishop, clergy and people of the diocese of Guadalcanal as we come to celebrate Pentecost together. May we be filled your spirit. Grant your wisdom and guidance, we pray, to Scott, our Prime Minister, to Gladys, our Premier, to the National Cabinet. We pray for an equitable rollout of COVID-19 vaccines. We pray especially at this time for the people of Israel and Palestine. We pray for restraint, for the conversion of hearts to the way of peace. Blessed too, we pray the people and clergy of the parishes of Christchurch Cathedral Hamilton, Merriweather and Lambton. We pray for chaplains throughout the diocese, especially for chaplains at our universities and schools. Grant us all the fullness of your spirit. Come to visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.